Pfizer has withdrawn its application for approval of its COVID-19 vaccine in India. The U.S. drug maker has been the first company to apply for emergency authorization in the country, but two cheaper inoculations were first to receive approval from AstraZeneca and the locally developed Bharat Biotech. Ishan Garg is in New Delhi. He joins us now for more on this. Ishan, why has Pfizer made this decision? Well, we haven't really heard from Pfizer as to why they have decided to withdraw their application, but the Indian government is actually saying, the chief regulator put out a statement saying that uh, they believe that uh, there have been a number of uh, incidences where people have suffered uh, anaphylaxis and um, mild uh, trauma from uh, the vaccine. And they are really referring to cases uh, that have been recorded abroad because Pfizer has not uh, conducted any uh, studies in India. And that's another point that the regulators say has has made them consider that uh, Pfizer could not be getting emergency approval in India anytime soon because uh, the company requires to conduct a, a small study in the local population here as well and all the studies that it had submitted to India's uh, top regulator were based on the population elsewhere in the world. Now I've been speaking to experts who say that this is really the crucial point why uh, it's been uh, denied uh, emergency approval in India and that's likely the reason why Pfizer has decided to uh, withdraw its application, it has put out a statement saying that this is not the end of the road for it uh, and that it will continue to liaise with the authorities and provide them the necessary data in the coming weeks or so. Uh, the company is uh, not ready to enter the private market and it wants to work with the government and it seems like, according to experts, that it will have to conduct a bridging study here in India to make sure that the data that it has got abroad also applies to the genetic profile of uh, Indians and only then it it might have a successful chance of getting emergency approval here. Ishan, a new survey has revealed more than 20% of adults in India have actually been exposed uh, to the virus. Uh, how concerning is that? That's really concerning because as we see from the previous set of survey results, we can really see a trend of a growing caseload in India. And as for we see for confirmed cases, it went up to a peak in uh, September last year when 100,000 cases were uh, detected. But now the cases are really in the 10,000 per day range. Uh, the Cero survey clearly indicates that that does not mean that COVID-19 cases in India are on the decline, but quite the contrary, they are actually rising. The first Cero survey that came out last Last year said that 0.73% um, of India's population was actually infected and now we are seeing close to 20% are infected and that's a massive jump uh, but uh, the active cases uh, or the confirmed cases don't actually follow this particular trend and health experts are saying that this is because most cases as high as 80% of the cases of coronavirus in India are actually people who are asymptomatic or people who are not getting tested and uh, which is why it's necessary to remember that 80% of India's population that's close to a billion people can still get infected uh, because of um, can get infected of COVID-19 and that's really puts the spotlight on the rollout of the vaccine which has been a bit tardy the government says that uh, it wants to inoculate uh, 300 million people by June and estimates suggest that it needs to be inoculating 1.2 million people every day to hit that target but uh, right now it's only inoculating 200,000 which is really way short of uh, the number it wants to hit and there's uh, also the problem of vaccine vaccine hesitancy, a lot of people not ready to take the vaccine. And uh, there's a bit of an issue with uh, the local vaccine as well in people's mind. They don't, they're not uh, comfortable taking it because the efficacy data is not out. So all these details need to be ironed out from the government side and experts say that the government also needs to carry out a mass information program to convince people to take the vaccine and only then they can hope to have the pandemic under control.